Hello guys, it's Cookie FM here, and we're back for episode four, four of the Hungerford series, A Journey to the Top. And yeah, in the last episode, we had another defeat, a uh, 2-1 loss to Truro City. Very disappointing. Um, but yeah, we are going to get into the game and see how we do in this episode. Okay guys, so yeah, we are back in the game. Um, we're just going to look at the tactics first and foremost. Um, so we've changed this. I mean, we've gone through a dozen tactics in this save. 4-2-4, the 4 2 3, one DM wide, and now we're trying this. Clean slate, literally minimal, minimal instructions. I haven't really added that many instructions onto the players either, as you can see. Oh, take them off. Didn't want to add them on. Um, yes, as you can see, very minimal instructions based. Uh, it's going to be a balanced sort of mentality. Trying to go for a little bit of a higher tempo. Uh, countering with a higher line of engagement. Um, it worked well in the last game, which we'll, we'll go through in a little bit. But, yeah, I just I have a feeling this could work. Oh, if uh, if that was correct, it would it might work. Um, this seems to be the formation that helps us control the game, so that that would be pretty decent. Um, I mean, look at all these negatives. Um, we yeah, we need to just we need to stick to a formation now, and I think this is going to be it, um, and go from there and work on that. Um, so that's the tactic. Um, yeah, we're going to go over to the schedule, have a look since we played Truro. So, so last game, 2-1 uh, loss to Truro City. Not very good indeed. Uh, then we beat Gloucester 4-1 at home. Unbelievable scenes with the 287 people watching us. Uh, thank you for coming down. Rainford, Cregan with a penalty. Roman Rose and Joe Evans getting the goals. Uh, we then went to bath away we felt a little bit dirty uh, one all draw Rainford getting the equaliser then at home to league leaders at this point uh, Torquay United um, home 509 at home so yeah attendance going pretty well there uh, we lost 5-3 I was very disappointed in this game because you know we were actually winning um at some point in the game, oh no, sorry, we we came back. We came back. Um, I think we got it to three. No, we got it. I think it was two all. I think it was two all. Yeah, then Nabby, Williams, and Banton scored, and then yeah, we just got a consolation in the second half. Right, the def uh, FA Cup second qualifying round. Uh, we beat Sittingbourne away, 3-1, uh, Kendall, uh, Grotenhuis and Cregan getting the goals. Uh, we then came back to league action and lost 5-0 uh, away at Arbor Park at Slough. Um, a really poor game, really, really poor game. Uh, that's when we changed the tactic to what we're currently using now. And we beat Paul Town, who recently got relegated to the Southern Premier League. Um, and we beat them at home 1-0 uh, in the FA Cup third round qualifying round. Now we're going to we're gonna come and show you this because we were meant to play Dulwich Hamlet. Uh, but it's been postponed due to a waterlogged pitch. We are due to play Barnet away in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. So that is the game we're going to be uh, live coming today. And yeah, I will... Uh, I was just checked on the finances, 113 grand, and all all good with that. I mean, we're just gonna ignore the wages. Just ignore it. Don't don't worry about it. It's okay, Hungerford. Just we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, competitions wise, let's have a look. We haven't entered the FA Trophy as of yet. Uh, we've smashed our board expectation of the second qualifying round of the FA Cup. So. Kind of doesn't really matter if we lose against Barnet. Just a way to test things out. Uh, recent form is one win in five. And 
we're not doing too badly actually considering the expectation is for us to get relegated 17th in the league at 22 we are three points above the drop and yeah we just need to start getting some some points on the board and and moving up the table okay guys here we are for the start of the game it's barnet against hungerford uh, start of the game pre-match sorry pre-match um, is what we're talking about uh, tactical familiarity is going okay with this uh, which is not too bad uh, we've got forward on the bench he's been playing well recently foxley who actually scored an absolute belter for hungerford uh, in real life um, as i record this on the 8th of december um aldridge not doing too bad just just checking out things. Uh, Matt Morris actually six four five six point seven. Not doing too bad actually. Not too bad. Um, <clears throat> right, I think we're gonna leave it as that. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna change anything. I'm not gonna change anything drastic. Set piece takers is already done. Penalty. Yeah, all of that stuff's already done. I think what I will change is we're gonna go defensive against Barnet, uh, especially in the first in the first part of it. We will we will go defensive. And yeah, team's gonna warm up and we're gonna get into this fixture. So Barnet have gone with the four two three one, looking very very attacking. Um. I don't really know any of their, their players. Uh, but we've lined up with Clayton, Strong, Culpepper, Essien, Ekpeteta, Haddon, Becker, Grotenhuis, Ranford, Evans, Aldridge, and Cregan. Uh, Cregan being our I think star player. Star player? No, it doesn't, doesn't show you anymore. Used to show you. If you go over it, it used to show you, show you what it means. Um... Good luck, lads. That's all I can put. We're expected to get beat. I'm not bothered if we are beaten. I'm not even going to give any any instructions there. And let's have a look. And yeah, that looks all good to me. Looks all good. And let's start off with an encourage. The game kicks off. First highlight doesn't usually bring anything untoward. <clears throat> but just this game's just a bit of a you know, a bit of a see what's see what's what, see how this formation uh, comes up against the Barnet 4231. And yeah, we're on a defensive, so we'll see how that comes across as well. I've noticed a lot of people have been playing like defensive and cautious and they've actually been able to score quite a lot of goals using that mentality um so here we are with the first highlight cregan oh, santos gets there barnet now on the attack with alexander adams into akinola comes forward to call first i skipped past both defenders keeper gets a block though it was a Barnet first corner of the game, or second corner of the game, sorry. And yeah, it doesn't come to much there. And yeah, we obviously we're not getting very much of the ball, we're not doing anything with it, but we are restricting Barnet as much as possible. And that is what the defensive mentality is about. Uh, but they're coming forward now with Taylor, Alexander, he's on a yellow card, a good block. And we're chasing them down. Evans, great sliding tackle there. That's what we want to see. Uh, Alexander with another corner. Culpepper gets it out. Cool first, picks it up. Not literally. Alexander, Velhite, great tackle. Oh, they're coming forward again. Akinola, Mensa, and there it is. Um, cautious. We'll go to cautious defensive worked up to a point it worked up to a point and then they're just overloading us ekpatessa gets done on the right back scene and 
think we need to try and demand some more of our players. Ball goes up. Uh, Adams wins it for Barnett. And they're coming forward again. Four against four. That's four against five now. And they're probably going to score there. Oh. It was unlucky. Unlucky for that. For them. And like I said, this game, it's not going to be the end of the world if we lose. Oh. Hey. Oh, come on. How's he given a penalty there? It's a good save though. Reynolds and 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil Reynolds. <sighs> yeah, it's game over already. Game over already. Game plan has not worked at all. It's gone against us, if anything. I'm not going to go attacking because we're just going to leak goals left. Or is it a did a beans on toast? Aldridge with a poor header. Johnson now on the left. Taylor, Alexander, Velhite, and Strong has got it. It's their highlight again. It's just never ending. Never ending. But this is what we've got to do. We've got to, we've got to go through the hard times to get to the good times. And 32% you know, possession. Barnett absolutely bossing the game. I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch to balanced. Team instructions. I'm going to add on regroup and not much else. Yes, yeah, so it's a little bit disappointing. Obviously, we're, we're probably going to go out of the cup. But we've had a good run. We've got 80% board confidence in the FA Cup this season, which is not too bad. We've got a little bit of a dollar from it. We've not done too bad. You know, we beat Sittingbourne, then we beat the division below us, Pool Town. So not too bad, not too bad. Um, things are sort of coming together now in this game oh Rainford what is that that is an awful touch cool first oh, that's a good save by Clayton and yeah we've got some 6.3 6.2s it's a corner Reynolds for Haiti <clears throat> doesn't quite get it doesn't quite get it and um, yeah Barnett come away with it uh, we've got a throw Cregan Gets into Eldridge, whips it in. Santos is there. Rainford, strong now on the left. Evans, oh, he's whipped it. Uh, Cousins is equal to it though. Uh, so we've had one shot and one shot on target. Hundred percent shot accuracy. Can't complain. But yeah, we are we are struggling in this match. As, as we all thought we would, you know. We're playing Barnet, who are in a Vanarama National League. Doing quite well, probably. And, yeah, we're going to go in at half-time. We are going to expect to see an improvement in the second half. We'll just leave it at that. We're going to bring Foxley for Rainford. And uh, Frankoy Ravalier on the wing. And that's what we're going to do. Give it a shout of encouragement. And let's carry on where we left off for the end of the first half. Because we're actually putting some passes together and putting some moves together which were quite uh, positive. Clayton Longball. Gotten Hewis does win it. Becker wins it again. Foxley. Oh, it's a poor pass, but gets there. Foxley again. Can he pull out a banger like he did against Chippenham in real life? Grotten Hewis. Becker to Foxley. Grotten Hughes. Hewis, sorry. Uh, Becker, Foxley. It's through. Oh, he's got a deflection. 
gets the shot away and just in those minutes of the second half he's done more than Rainford's done oh Foxley could have won the header there uh, but it was out Foxed uh, Ekpateta oh, loses out to Adams Akinola now they're coming oh that's the end of the highlight so I thought they were going to come out with the counter attack there um, so we've got Strong with the throw uh, Foxley it was a strong throw Foxley oh he's back to Becker oh, he's lost out Oh, he's got the slide tackle in there though. Haddon Becker still got it strong. Culpepper whips it forward. Cregan. Oh, I thought that could have, could have deflected back into the path of Darren Foxley. Uh, Gritton Hewis not having a good game. Neither is Joe Evans. And Cregan mm, not doing very well. Strong has been booked, but he's all right. Uh, Grosjean Hewis back to Cregan on the left. It needs to get a ball in now. Foxley's there. Oh, just over, just over. And we we've done pretty well in the second half so far. Um, Akinola coming forward. Uh, Cole first. Just to flick it on. Doesn't really get much on it though. Doesn't get much on it. Um, oh, Ravelo has picked up an injury that is devastating devastating um, Callum forward let's have a look his crossing is only only at a 4 Cregan crossing at 6 probably gets Harvey Moss though um, it's going to have to be done isn't it Joe Evans He's left footed as well. Probably changed him to an inside forward. On support. And yeah that screwed up our plans. For the sub that I was going to make. Um, I was going to take Groten Hewis off. But yeah that hasn't prevailed. Hasn't prevailed. Um, Barnett's still rocking the 4-2-3-1. And you know, we've got a couple of strong performers. Um, so far. Uh, oh my what is that to the post keepers unaware hits the keeper on the leg and goes in that is shocking absolutely shocking Barnett getting back on top now that injury really shook us and I think they've hit the crossbar again Ekpateta brings it forward it's gone long, and that's the end of the highlight. Oh, unbelievable. So we've got Strong, Moss. Oh, he's been absolutely done by Jack Taylor. Uh, it's probably going to be a second yellow card. <coughs> and, yep, it's a red card for Jack Taylor. Strong, Cregan. Puts it into Moss. Oh, he gets a block. Oh, what a tackle that is then. Strong. Into Foxley. Strong. Whips it in. Got in Hewis. Because he gets shot off. Oh, he's in a post. Oh. Keeper made a save, but he's hit the beans on toast. Strong. Whips it in. Oh, Robson heads it out. Mensa back to Ekpateta. Gets it forward again. Becker, Sen, oh, that's a that's a bad tackle. Akinola is on a yellow card. I'll tell you what, I am gonna do. Those players on a yellow card, we're gonna uh, we're gonna tackle harder, wind them up. Absolutely wind them up. There we go. We've got a free kick. Haddon Becker is gonna take it. Ah, is it the wall? Is it the wall? And we've got to throw in. Yes, there's no more subs that I can make. Um, not really much else that I can do. They've still got a strong sort of defensive shape. Because uh, they're, they're only missing a, a right winger. So Foxley. Oh, he's coming forward. Evans. Oh, whips it in. What a goal. 3-1. There's still a chance. 
and we're going to encourage the lads. Still got a chance to win. Optimistic, I know. But Foxley drives forward. Evans cuts inside. Bosch. What a goal. Joe Evans has played sublime this game. Absolutely sublime. Darren Foxley has been a revelation coming on into centre midfield. And I'd probably say he's going to start a few more games. Kai. Oh, Clayton. Clayton's not been not been very good this game. S says he's got a 6.7 rating, but that mistake that he made for their third goal is unforgivable. Unforgivable. Um, right, they've got an injury, so I'm just gonna gonna go with the hard tackling on him as well. So let's keep let's keep it up. Let's keep going. Um, Cregan's got a yellow card. Uh, we're going to keep with the balanced. We're just going to throw it forward a bit more and pass into space. Just see if we can make it an uneasy finish for Barnett. Uh, they are coming forward with Robson, Akinola, and Ekpateta gets it away. But Santos puts it forward again. Long ball. Mensa. Foxley clears it. He's foxed it out of the box. There's one there for you. Mensa. Ooh, just over, just over. Didn't get a touch to it. Didn't get a save. <clears throat> but I've probably, I've probably screwed myself over by starting defensive. I thought maybe go defensive, then nil nil at half time. We go a little bit more positive, but it didn't work out like that. Didn't work out like it. Um, but we're coming forward. Evans now on the right. There's across the moss. Oh, Foxy's got in the way. He's, oh, didn't strike it clean enough. And it's gone wide. It's a decent attempt though. Decent attempt. I'll give him that. And we are getting the yellow cards out here today. One, two, three, four, five yellow cards in the starting in the eleven playing right now. We've got five added minutes. Kai with the free kick. Oh, it's just over. Four minutes left. Foxley now collects it. Oh, it's a great ball forward to Cregan. Can, we, can he get it in? Oh, it's back to Foxley. It's to Evans. Oh, it's too easy. Too easy for Cousins. Oh, so easy. Strong. Come on, whip it in. Got in hoist. Oh. Strong gets it again. Becker. Into, oh, it's all over. It's all over at the hive. And a 3-1 loss. An absolute battle. Look at those yellow cards. An absolute battle. Uh, 11 yellow cards overall. And, yeah. Uh, we're just going to calmly, actually cautiously, say... I can't fault. Ah, uh, bowls. Bowls. Um, cautiously. Disappointed? Okay, some of them. Cautiously. Disapp oh, right. We'll just, we'll just go. We'll just go. We've, we've screwed up the team talk. We are just going to go. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously we've, we've gone out of the FA Cup. Uh, Frankoy is injured for three days, so we're going to give him. He's not going to be able to play the next game, so we'll give him a week's rest. Um, match report. I mean, Ek Pateta, 6.2, 6.2. I mean, Aldridge has got to be disciplined, 6.1 rating. Foxley played superbly. Going to give him that. He played superbly. Uh, I'm not happy with Rainford. Not happy with Culpepper if it'll select him. And Ekbateta. Shocking. So that's 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 where it leaves us. So we're out of the FA Cup, but we've got a 65% board confidence, so they're quite happy. Um in the league, 59%, they're quite happy, quite happy. 
So obviously we've got one game in hand, so we could move up to 16th. Um, the goal difference doesn't really affect us that much because we're on the same goal difference as Chippenham. But that's how it is. That's how it is. Uh, FA Trophy, uh, the third qualifier is going to be drawn next month. Um, exactly in a month's time, we will know who we're going to play in the third qualifying round. Uh, we're going to go to the schedule and we're going to see who we're going to play in the next episode. Uh, so we are going to play Dulwich offline, Hampton and Richmond offline, Woking, Western Supermare, East Forrock, and we're going to come back hopefully uh, for Eastbourne away. Eastbourne away. Uh, Eastbourne are currently top of the league. Uh, so we are really picking the hard games to play in the Livecom. Um, I don't think we've seen a win in the Livecom as of yet. But we'll come back for that. We'll come back for Eastbourne away. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. The support that I've received on this series has been amazing. Uh, and that's all down to you guys watching the videos, commenting, liking, subscribing, all of that good stuff. Uh, in the description, there is the Hungerford Town Supporters Fund, uh, which they are using to help sub fund for the players, uh, paying their wages and that sort of thing, getting new players in and helping them move up the National League South table. So definitely get involved with that. If you do have any spare cash, please donate one pound, ten pounds, whatever you have, uh, donate to them, and they will be much appreciative of that. And obviously, if you live close to Hungerford, get down, support your local team, and go and watch them. I am due to go. I was due to go uh, this weekend actually, but family stuff sort of got got in the way. So we are due to go down. I'm trying to think. It's going to be after Christmas anyway. I'm going to get a fixture list and see what home games that I can go to. So I'd be looking forward to meeting anyone down there that lives close by. Um, and I'm going to be recording some, you know, pre-match interviews and that sort of thing. So that would be really cool. And again, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time.